good everybody another episode of ask fp this is a jumbo sized episode so let's jump right into this first question from the week we got hunter shawley what are your thoughts on jaleel okafer so far is he number one pick worthy i think he definitely is number one pick or number one pick worthy um but he's gonna get some contention from emmanuel mugier who is drawing raves in china uh as some of you may or may not know he actually uh, skipped college, uh, had some uh, qualification issues, so he went over to China a la um, Brandon Jennings, but he's doing much better than Brandon Jennings did in his one year overseas, and he may challenge Okafor, but Okafor definitely looks like the real deal. Steven says, who is your favorite basketball player of all time? My favorite basketball player of all time, this is going to come as a real shocker to everybody considering I'm Chicago all day, is Michael Jordan. He is my favorite basketball player all time. But I would say LeBron is is very close right there with it for me. Um, You know, he's he's right there. Derrick Rose is there for me still. Those are my favorite basketball players. I also love Hakeem Olajuwon, Patrick Ewing, all of those guys right in the same group for me. But I would still say Mike is number one. Next up, Steven says, will you be doing my team this year? Uh, no, probably more than likely. I'm about 97% sure that the answer to that question is no. And here's the reason why. First off, I just feel like I got a lot of series already, as you guys probably know. Sometimes people get frustrated because things are taking too long. So I feel like if I add something else, it's only going to take longer. The other thing is, is my team just really don't have it yet for me. I'm really waiting on them to allow you like customized logos and jerseys and stuff. And I think that would be a bigger draw for me. So that's that. Ramon Lopez says, hi, is your NBA 2K15 Legends roster uploaded? Thanks. This is one of those situations I'm talking about, like a series that I had going and I had to, you know, I didn't stop it. I just had to like kind of do other things and try to kind of spread it out. I had to put it on pause more than anything. And it's, it's still coming. I really think it's something that's cool. And I'm, you know, trying to work through what I'm doing now to get through that quicker. Um, but I got a plan, a schedule, and the Legends roster is coming back um, as well as Franchise Fiction. So you guys keep an eye out for that. Trev Allen says, do you think that the NFL playoff format should change, i.e. NFC South could have an eight or nine loss playoff team? No, I do not think the playoff, um, the whole structure should change at all. You're just going to have years like this. You know, you're going to have years like this where you just have a bad team that makes the playoffs. I believe the uh, Seahawks maybe about four or five years ago they had a seven and nine team actually win a playoff game the new uh, New Orleans Saints that was the beast mode game with uh, Marshawn Lynch so you never know man teams put things together in the end of the season and you never know when the division you should be in Trev also says your thoughts on Jason Collins retiring and coming out to the world like he did like Darren Young I really don't care I mean, you know, this is about basketball for me, man. This ain't about nothing that's got to do with nobody's personal life and all that kind of stuff. You know, a person does what they do in their personal life. That's their personal life. I watch sports. I play sports video games. Those are the things that are relevant to me. Jason Collins was a great player. Hey, let's talk about how great a player he is all day. Darren Young was a great wrestler, which he's decent. Let's talk about how great a wrestler he is all day. All that other stuff ain't none of my business. Brian Cyrus says, in recent videos, you mentioned a diva, Sasha Ray. There's no Sasha Ray, only Sasha Banks and Summer Ray. Which one do you mean? Well, I mixed them up is what I did. So I do that from time to time. I was actually referring to Sasha Banks. Uh, I had gone to the NXT taping and I saw her perform and I thought she was really uh, pretty decent. And I think she has a nice uh, future in, uh, in the WWE if they will call her up, which I think they really do need to call her up because... I ain't a big fan of Paige like everybody else is. That's just me. Big Kev says, how that big roster coming along with the look with the look legends? Uh, that's another question for the legends. It, and then I didn't actually, the last reason why I kept this one in there, even though it's similar to the previous question, is um, because I nobody actually asked me how they was coming along. I actually did a live stream where I did, I made uh, Stefan Marbury. And also Chet Walker. So I've added a couple since then. But uh, I said that on Wednesdays was going to be the day that I add to my Ultimate Legends roster. So I'll be adding to it again tomorrow on the live stream. So y'all check out for that. Uh, Jalen Cook, my dog, says, Can you pin or submit superstars in steel cage matches 
in WWE 2K15. Now, you know what? I don't think you can. I really don't think you can. I just turned around to see if Junior was in here. I was going to ask him because he might know the answer to that better than I do. Like, absolutely. If you can, you pin the superstars or submit them in, in, in steel cage matches in WWE 2K15. Um... Yes, you gotta go and change the settings. Too. Still can change the settings, he says. I'll confirm that, because I don't know if he's totally sure, but I will confirm that and see if that's the case. Trevor Allen also says Kevin Steen is set to debut in NXT on December 11th. What are your thoughts on him? I think he's super talented. I just sometimes I feel like some of these guys who have like a lot of experience before they get to the WWE, I sometimes feel like the WWE keeps them in NXT too long. Like Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn has wrestled in every place in the in the world, almost. I don't think he needed that much seasoning, so I don't know. Same thing could be the case with Kevin Steen. Sports Topic says my thoughts on Adam LaRoche signing to the White House. I think I thought it was a pretty good pickup. You know, I mean, uh, I think what they may be looking at with him is maybe they can get from him what they wanted to get more consistently from Adam Dunn because Adam Dunn. For the most part, I would probably have to say Adam Dunn's time in, with the with the White Sox was more failure than success. But Adam LaRoche is 35 years old. I mean, you know, he's had he's had some decent years and some more consistency. So we'll see what happens. All right. Also, Sports Topic says, do you think NBA 26, the NBA 2K16 will have more than two voice options for my career? That's an interesting question. I think it's possible. You got to wonder when is going to be the time or if they'll ever try to allow you to use your own voice. As a matter of fact, when we went to the uh, community team up, Shakedown actually had that suggestion. Now, I know that sound files are the largest files that you're going to find on the, in, when you're ter in terms of creating a game. So that could be very different. So we'll see what happens with that. Connor Massey says, who do you think the best NFL team is in your opinion? The best team in the NFL to me is the New England Patriots. I know the great Patriot loves that answer. But right now, I mean, the Patriots got to be the best team. I mean, look at what the, look at what they're doing to, to gr good teams. They have beaten, I think, like four teams this season who, when they played them, they were division leaders. The average point differential against those teams is I think they've won those games by like 24 points. That's dominance, and they got to be considered the best team in the NFL. Connor Massey also says, who do you I think will win the NFC North? Well, it ain't going to be the Bears. I know that. I know that. No, I think Green Bay wins. I think Green Bay wins. If you asked me who the second best team in the NFL was, I would have told you the Packers because I think we're headed for a Packers-New England Patriots Super Bowl, uh, and I think the Packers are going to win the NFC North. I'm, uh, Detroit is showing some cracks, and the Bears are not uh, good enough. So that's that. Did you hear me crying as I said that? Because I was starting to cry a little bit. Start, I started to tear up just a little bit. Um, but I'm going to move on so I don't get emotional. Long says, do you have more info on the mystery face scan in NBA 2K15? I don't. I saw that one tweet come out. And I, I don't Unless I missed something, I don't think they have said anything about it. But uh, I'll look again. Uh, I'm starting to think it's not going to be as big a deal as I thought it was going to be originally. Because, I, I mean... I don't know. I feel like they would be pubbing it up a little bit more if it was going to be something real heavy. But we'll see, right? They actually uh, came out with that original one on the same day that you sent this tweet, man, on November 22nd. And I haven't seen anything since, so I'm going to keep my eyes open for it. Long also says, has LD2K gotten back with you on whether uh, we're going to be able allowed to get the new patch hairstyles for our creative players? Nah, he hasn't. I'm actually going to send him a message tonight. And if he gives me any information that I can share, I'll go ahead and put that out in the tweet tonight. Uh, or maybe I'll even talk about it during the live stream tomorrow. Uh, anybody that's not up on the live streams yet, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you see that handle there at the bottom of the screen for Twitch. Come get down with me. And let's see, D Spearman says, I love your going home series. Thank you, sir. Can KG be on the Carolina team? Because he spent all his years there except for one that was in the shot. You are right. And I started to put him there because, you know, but I started to think about it. And this, this, I get this question a lot with the Going Home series 
thing about it is is this it was very complicated trying to figure out where guys spent the majority of their childhood and all that some guys spent seven years here five years here and you got to kind of do some, a lot of research to find out who they really you know who they like pledge allegiance to it was easier just to go with the high schools so that's what i did so that's why that's that way trevor allen your thoughts on sting debuting in survivor series and potential triple h versus sting match at, at, at wrestlemania uh, I thought that it was awesome the way he came out. I thought it was they did it really well. Um, I, I think it's going to be interesting in seeing how they use him moving forward. See, that's the big thing. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Now, a Triple H Sting match at WrestleMania is actually pretty decent. Uh, I guess it would be like the second best thing if he can't get the Undertaker. But uh, so I think it would be interesting. We'll see how many times Sting can, can go. My man King Hike. Lynchy, I guess. What do you think of Brock Lesnar defying the so-called 30-day title of defense rule? I think that's a mess. I think it's a mess. I think it's one of the biggest problems with the WWE right now, allowing the part-time stars to hold down these major titles and is really holding up storylines, handicapping the writers as if they need any help with that. I just think it's a bad deal, you know, and um it, you know, I you know people like Dolph Ziggler and those guys should be right there in the world title picture, and because of stuff like that, they're not. Jalen Cook says, "What features would you like to see in a future NHL game?" Well, I would certainly like to see them expand the be a GM mode a little bit more because it was not very expanded at all. A traditional franchise mode should be there. Um, I, w I would like to see them go back to that, like kind of like the life kind of thing they had. Uh, in what was that NHL 14? I thought that would be real good. I think injuries with better presentation and more realistic presentation would be good. Um, so that's just a few things right there. So Dabs says, do you have Rose as an all-star starter? Who is your starting five? Well, let's see. At this time, no, Rose would not be a starter. I still think he's one of the best, you know, point guards in the NBA, but it's not the starter. In the East, I would say it's John Wall. Jimmy Butler, yes, Jimmy Butler, 21 points a game right now and the lockdown defense. LeBron, Carmelo, and Nikola Vucevic in the East. Now in the West, Steph Curry, James Harden, Rudy Gay, LaMarcus Aldridge, and DeMarcus Cousins. No, Kobe's not an all-star. He's shooting 38% from the field, man, and 27% from three-point range. No, he's not an all-star. Now, Matt Price coming with the seriousness. He says the thoughts on the Michael Brown verdict. I think it's hard, you know, it's, you know, it just jacked up, you know, injustices are just jacked up, you know, especially in this day and age. You would hope that, you know, we'd be bad at, but obviously you can tell that this type of stuff still exists in the world. But I thought LeBron said something that was really poignant today. He said that, you know, violence is not the answer. You don't beget one, one piece of violence with another piece of violence and you, you don't use things as a excuse to hate, you know, it, you this is not everybody this is a sect of people and there's other sects of people like this but let's not use this to do things that are self-destructive to ourselves others around us and that sort of thing it's just that's that's that right there is senseless sometimes frustration calls for you to think and act you know all the time it calls you for you to think and act appropriately and hopefully that's what everybody does with this Matt Price also says, is it safe to say what WWE 2K15 is like NBA 2K14 was last year? Bare Bones game with more features coming next year. I think that that's a fair comparison. I think it's a fair comparison. Like 2K14 looked great, played good, had some, was missing a lot of stuff though in terms of like creation and uh, just features, period. And I think that 2K15, WWE 2K15 is similar, but I almost want to say maybe WWE 2K15. I don't know. They, I, I would say, yeah, I think it's a, I think that's a good comparison. Kevin Joseph came with the long stuff. He had to do a screenshot because 140 characters ain't enough, man. He need 500 characters. He says, out of a loaded class of wide receivers this year, who do you think has the best chance of or can or will become the better one down the line? Names like Watkins and Evans come to mind for most people, but ever since the catch, more have been jumping on the Odell bandwagon. Like, he hasn't been lighting it up since he came back from his injury. Anyway, I know I might be a bit biased as Giants fan, but I've been dubbing him the best receiver of that class since he's been playing opposite Landry at LSU. My thoughts. Uh, I think that Odell Beckham is a, is a beast. He absolutely is. And I do think that this is a this was a really good class of wide receivers, like really good. But for me personally, 
you know what? I'm going to say something. It's hard to evaluate those three guys because I, I do think those three guys are the class of, the, of, the, of this particular, particular wide receiver crop. But it's hard to evaluate some of them because you always have to take into consideration things like quarterback. Now, I know Eli is not a beast or anything like that, or he's very inconsistent. But if you were to evaluate the quarterback situation between what Mike Evans has with Josh McCown and Mike Glennon and Sammy Watkins has with EJ Manuel and, you know, and Kyle Orton, I don't know. I still would say Odell Beckham has a better quarterback getting them the ball. So my personal opinion is that Mike Evans looks to me to be the best of all three. I think Mike Evans is literally uncheckable in the red zone down the sidelines period and he has that nastiness about him that's like i want the ball i'm going to get it all three of those guys are you can't go wrong with them but me personally i take mike evans gene adams says how much vc do you get on a game by game basis uh in my league on hall of fame if you win thanks franchise play all right I'm not totally sure how much you get on Hall of Fame in my league because I don't play on Hall of Fame in my league. So I'll just tell you that now. I don't, because, uh, and I tell people this all the time. I'm not a fan of picking a difficulty on a game that makes the game play unrealistic. Because on those high difficulties, they make people do things that they can't just for the sake of making the game hard. And I ain't into that. You feel me? The Great Patriot! Played him on uh, in live stream uh, last night on WWE 2K15. He had a ball. I did win two out of three matches. <coughs> so yeah. So he says if you had one, if you had a one night only show every WWE, WCW, WWF superstar available, what would your matches be? And you only have five matches. All right. So I got a little bit of a list for this. Start off with The Rock versus Samoa Joe. I think that would be awesome. Samoa Joe is a like. I mean, he got every move you can think of, and The Rock is just a great athlete, maybe one of the best athletes ever been in the ring. Also, Shawn Michaels versus Dolph Ziggler. I always said that Dolph Ziggler was like a mixture between Shawn Michaels and Jeff Jarrett. I thought that would be a great match. Randy Orton versus Bret Hart. Bret Hart is known as the excellence of execution, but in my opinion, Randy Orton is just as smooth in the ring. I thought that would be a great match. Stone Cold versus Goldberg. Should have happened, but it didn't. Awesome match. And then let's throw a tag team match in there. The Usos versus the Hardy Boys. Wouldn't that be awesome? Look at the half-line stuff that would happen in there. Come on, give me that one night only. Maybe I'll do that on WWE 2K15. Ah, idea. Drew Warriner says, is there any way that you could put your live streams on YouTube? I'm not always able to watch them late at night. I appreciate you, dog. I will do that. I, be, I actually was thinking about doing that anyway. It's just a, one little step I have to add to my process. So I'll probably like be recording while I'm live streaming on my other app. So I think I can do that, Drew. I appreciate the suggestion and I appreciate you even wanting to watch my dog. Last question of this episode of Ask FP is from Matt Price again. He says, do you think it's better just to do PS4 share play rather than using 2K's lagging service? You know what, Matt? You might be right. You might be right. Um, I haven't actually played share play on a 2k game, so I can't really say for sure if it's much better I'm assuming you have so it sounds like it might be so it's gonna be in I don't know That's something to think about though. It's really something to think about uh, If that's the case, that's really kind of shame on like everybody and I mean, but I don't know Wouldn't you still be using 2k servers though. I don't know. I gotta look into that But at any rate, that's this episode of ask FP man. Y'all jump y'all just just come on join your boy Subscribe, follow, peace.